Hello trainers, Kaneto here and today we're having some great league action with my Shadow Swambert up on the lead at the back the Frostlass and the main star of this team the Umbreon. So Umbreon is an underrated Pokemon that a lot of trainers tend to forget when they're playing uh, great league matches. Uh, so only Medicham on this meta can uh, wall it down but still it has to go with the complete energy usage or just go ahead and shield some moves if they want to succeed against your Umbreon so definitely an all around pick with uh, not a lot of fairies in the meta and even against those fairies you have the hard hitting last resort which can help you a lot I do not recommend running Psychic but instead uh, last resort as your second charge attack while foul play or dark pulse but I prefer foul play for your first charge attack anyways we're having now the Umbreon coming in pretty clutch against that Stunfisk with the Alola Ninetales out of the way but to be honest even against the nine tails, we had a lot of play with Umbreon. At uh, this point I need to charge up my phone but it doesn't matter uh, that Stunfisk now is just gonna uh, do nothing against my Pokemon we are super bulky much like the Stunfisk is and I will try to get to that final foul play but they managed to catch on the Sableye okay I guess so and now all we need to do is to reach to the double avalanche one for the Stunfisk one for the Sable and that is gonna be an amazing victory for our team with great energy coverage from my Frostlass into the next one now and we're facing the Swamber, yeah the Dragoner excuse me uh, so the Battle of the Shadows here and we're having a lot of trouble again that, against that Pokemon because under Shield Shadow Dragoner is gonna do a lot of solid work against my Pokemon doesn't matter though on the Switch we're met up with a Bastiodon and yay what a boring battle uh, now those markdowns deal no damage at all, uh, the Stone Edge deals about the same amount of damage that a Foul Play is doing, of course course they are doing a little bit more than us but still uh, yeah Umbreon is gonna do a fair fight here with those spammy moves and relying a lot on the foul play uh, while they can finish me off here I don't care at all I'm pretty glad to go down especially after that weird stalling battle and now Shadow Swambert can go in start farming down all that crucial energy whatever comes in we have a lot of play up, up against them uh, it is gonna be the Shadow Dragoner, the return of the Dragoner, but at this point I don't care at all, I know they're Shadow and they're gonna take a lot of damage from my Hydro Cannon. All I want to do is to rely on my Frostless now for the closing part with that uh, Bastardon out of the way and we stand correct because at the back they're having their uh, Medicham which is good news for my Pokemon over here. Gonna seal the next move which is the Psychic for big damage that could have connected little bit of lag so here now the Shadow Ball can go ahead and finish off the Medi while the Dragoner stands no chance with its weird defensive stats and of course the Powder Snows are just gonna melt it down at the next one we're met up with a Red Steel up on the lead pretty wonderful lead for our team still though the Focus Blast can hurt on the long term of the battle and unfortunately they switch into an Azumarill I do not have a clear answer to Azumarill and I'm taking advantage of the absence of uh, Azu in the meta with this line but still against Azu you can go ahead and bait uh, if you want to otherwise just go with the earthquake for big damage we managed to catch the move and the ice beam on the frostless as well what a great play that was completely destroying and outplaying our opponent here while Shadow Ball is gonna connect for big damage on the Reggie before they go for the debuffing move however at this amount of HP that we have uh, the debuffing move is always lethal so we're just gonna reach now to our hydro cannon in a weird effort to farm them down right after and we can do that successfully keeping our shield alive at the back they have the trevenant but our shadow swambert is loaded on energy we can get to the earthquake and the hydro cannon for the finish off against the trev are you kidding me this is horrible for them but horrific for us and now we're gonna block the next move whatever it is we don't care at all 
because we can safely reach now to the earthquake Saddle Swambert putting off the work here and now Umbreon can go in start farming down the remaining HP and whatever they throw here can absolutely be taken even those play roughs and how often do you see winning the battle with a farm down from the Umbreon against the Azu yeah not that often uh, so into the next one and we're having uh, the lantern up on the lead not the best but not the worst uh, because we can still nuke them down with a potential earthquake however they're trying to catch here and hopefully we went for the bait and the hydro cannon against the noctowl i know that every six uh, uh, wing attacks they can charge up to a sky attack while every six of mine i can reach to an avalanche however we can always win those cmps so that's why i'm going for the extra farm here and trying to finish them off right on time you know what here i might actually not shield i might let my frostless go down uh, because my shadow swamper now can go in and absolutely farm down the remaining hp out of this noctowl down they go they return now with a medi and they're trying to catch a move i believe did they switch out yes they did pretty wonderful switch but i'm not gonna fall for it because i'm trying to catch one move on the abron however i cannot right on time and we can still uh, survive with a little bit of hp and two hydro cannons or a simple earthquake ready to go for the end game uh, at this point I have the double foul play ready to go charged up already they are gonna block which is a mistake here I believe and now I have another one able to fulfill the destiny of the London to return it into the ocean and now Med is gonna return to the battle we don't care though even though they have those power up punches all we need is to get to a last resort put it as low as we can so that a simple earthquake can finish off the Medi and that is gonna be an amazing Amazing victory for the Sado Swamber team. June Ramos, I have no clue who the trainer is, and we're having now this uh, Alola Sado Sandstrew in the next one. So those Hydro Cannons are gonna come in handy. However, they can survive one, which was impressive from one Sado to another, and both of us are not that tanky. Uh, so, anyways, I have to block the Ice Punch and then take the Weather Ball while I was trying to catch as always, but that did not work at all. However, on the second try, it did work, and now my Umbreon is gonna face this uh, Politoed. Are they gonna switch out here? This is pretty weird to observe, I know, but still, let's see if that is gonna uh, happen, because their switch timer must be up after this Weather Ball. Uh, they're gonna go for the Blizzard instead, big damage on my Pokemon, and they managed to catch on the Sansla, so yeah, that's a bummer, but still, it doesn't matter at all. We have some uh, energy to spend on the next Pokemon, but it ends up being a bit drill and I believe we are not gonna get a shield here, they know better than that, so yeah, Frostlass is gonna go in now, and all we have to do is to predict that uh, drill run, however, they get to the Fell Stinger, and things are horrible for us, so let's reach now to the Avalanche for big damage, however, we are getting outsped here, and of course, this drill run is gonna take us out, no, we can still survive, and that final Powder Snow was pretty crucial, so now my Swambert can go in, seeing the switch, immediately makes me think that I have to go for the Hydro Cannon and another one right after on the CMP after they sealed and now it's a race to the farm down we can go down at the same time and that's gonna be a magnificent win for us because Abrion was alive with one single HP remaining at the back what a crazy battle that was against a very spicy team well played to my opponent uh, so Trevenant here in the next one, I do not like my odds, so yeah, Umbreon has to go in definitely and keep my Frostlass as my hidden uh, closer for this battle, so it's all up to the Frostlass as it seems, especially when they have a Pokemon like Trevenant, so that an Avalanche can finish it off with ease. Uh, now we might need to block here, I totally misplayed this battle, I believe, uh, but anyways, let's see if that can work towards my advantage, because I'm getting super greedy as I want to finish off this Tanfisk at uh, any cost so that I can have the upper hand against that uh uh, Trevenant with my uh, Frostlass, but then it hit him, I cannot spend two shields here, because if I do then the Frostlass is still doomed against that Trevenant anyways, we are gonna take a shield out of this uh, Trevenant with a potential Sludge Wave or Earthquake, anyways they shield it, and now I can still go ahead and keep pressuring with my moves, unfortunately we are not looking that great here however, we end up catching the Seed Bomb on my Frostlass which is pretty promising for us 
grass but at the back there is gonna be a lantern and this pokemon is pretty heavy for my team let's see if we can still finish it off because we're having a lot of action by our frostlass however we cannot reach to another one and this surf will be uh, very bad for my frost so down they go frost it into its weird uh, napping time and yeah that's gonna be a bummer we're gonna take this loss with our shadow swamber dealing a lot of damage but still not enough to their team into the final one now and we're having the stunfisk on its galarian form up against us you love to see trainers so yeah hydro cannon here is gonna be our uh, next move uh, that we have to throw obviously uh, so this is gonna be a seal from my part this can always be something like an earthquake but this cannot be an earthquake for sure i don't know what this trainer was taking uh, so yeah rock slide for no reason and now i'm just gonna over farm at the point that uh, i have nothing to fear from this pokemon then throw finish of the fisk and at the back they have another lantern so many lanterns and i'm just glad that i'm not running knocked out today uh, so i'm just gonna go ahead and let everything go through my umbreon because umbreon is super bulky it can take even super effective hits like a play rough like a focus blast it doesn't matter it can still survive this pokemon is super good and i really wonder why do trainers uh, have forgotten about the uh, umbreon uh, so another foul play before fainting here and that that is pretty crucial for us because we're taking their final shield out of play and because they're getting super greedy we can still pressure for the final showdown against their frostless with our own and that's gonna wrap things up for today's video thank you for watching trainers just be sure to leave a huge like before you go subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and if you want to support even more well joining as a member can always help with that matter thank you once again and i hope to see you all into the next one take care trainers